What's going on everyone? Sly here with Flo. Flo, man, I'm gonna roll this video right here. Here it is right there. Debo Samuel working out with D-Hop. Looking actually slim, man. Look at him compared to last year. Remember last year he was eating that mac and cheese during this time out at the clubs. And you can see he got a little thick. Now he looks better, man. He's out there with D-Hop and D-Hop had a few words to say. Let's just hear what D-Hop had to say. I see everybody telling me to stay. Who said I want to go? Who said I wanted to leave? I'm out here working, baby. What's up? All right, man, seeing all that, it's funny how these two working out together, man, both of them wanted to trade at the beginning of the off seasons last year and this year. But what do you think about this? Debo, let's go with Debo first. How, what do you think about him looking good? Oh, man, this looks this is good just in general because last year, obviously, he had pretty much no training camp, really, because it, he had it took so long for us to get him signed. I think he got, what, halfway through by the time he got signed? Yeah, it was, and, it was like in July, late so July. It took a while, and that, that caused him to come into camp pretty overweight. And it took him a while just to get into playing shape. Even the, the first couple the first of weeks, weeks yeah. man, he wasn't the Debo Samuel <laughs> that we know, man. Because if, if we know Debo Samuel the year before, he pretty much led us to the NFC Championship game. That's how great of a player he is. But you still have to come in shape. And if you don't, it doesn't matter how great you are, you're not going to perform to your, your abilities. And so for the most part, Debo Samuel, he looks like he's already in playing shape heading into this season. So I expect a big big season out of him last year i kind of felt Ayuk was gonna have the better season of the two guys because of his the weight issue but this year i think d was samuel's gonna go back to how he was as far as d hop i don't believe him man <laughs> hell no he wants kyler murray throwing to him the remaining the remainder of his career <laughs> let's face it man kyler murray can't even look over his offensive line to freaking find this guy he's a little guy he's a little guy Big Bosa was right, man. They made the biggest mistake of their life drafting that guy over him. <laughs> so I, I think um, D Hop, he's just saying that because he's still on the Cardinals. He has to say that right now until he gets traded. Maybe he'll go to the Niners, man. He's already working out with Debo Samuel, so why not? Mm -hmm. The only reason I would say maybe he does it, hopefully he's not heard about Javarius Ward calling him steroid boy. Yeah. That'd be the <laughs> only reason I would think that maybe he wouldn't want to uh, join the Niners. What do you think, Sly? Yeah, man, I was really encouraged seeing um, Debo like this. He looked really, his face was uh, sucked in. It wasn't like last year. Last year, you know, you could see everything, you know. Every, he had a little gut, too. So it wasn't good, man. You would always see him post videos, his mom making mac and cheese, all that good stuff, all that southern food. and It, it looked amazing, but... You know, he, he enjoyed it way too much. You know, he even said last year he was going to come into shape, to um, training camp in shape, ready to go. And it looks like he's doing it, man. I'm really glad that he's out there with uh, D-Hop, even though D-Hop's kind of a nemesis to the 49ers. Jimmy Ward, go watch that video if you don't know why. Um, it's it's funny, though, them two working out together and both of them wanted to trade. And now they're working out together. But it's cool, man. Um, as far as D-Hop um, saying that now he wants to stay, I'm really not concerned because, like you were saying, Kyler Murray's the guy throwing into him. And the guy, man, he's just so inconsistent. He's Jack Hyde, man. He practices more on Palo and, you know, Fortnite than actually uh, watching the film. So I'm not concerned at all. I think that we'll be able to shut him down. Traverse Ward did a great job, especially in that second half in Mexico when they pretty much shut him out. So I'm not concerned about that. If he's going to stay with the Cardinals, let him stay. I just think our defense is too ferocious. And um, I know he's a star, but he ain't a star when he plays the Niners, man. All right, well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about these two working out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you all next time. Peace. Peace.